you walk in and it's just like the wow factor. Katie Banfield in awe of the 1860s Italian style home she bought just last summer, a house she's calling Villa on Verona. The minute I walked in, I was, you know, blown away. And not just by its structure and elegance and eight bedrooms, but by its history too. Fenimore Cooper owned the land prior to it being built. Um, and you know, he is the author of um, uh, Last of the Mohicans. And Deerslayer, two literary classics tucked away with the rest of his work in its original state. And then, you know, with uh, William Boyce, uh, who founded the Boy Scouts. Um, and, you know, he was, he was a writer as well. Creating a newspaper in Chicago and living at the house in the early 1890s. And it's not just the house, the grounds are incredible. You know, the pool is great and uh, the tennis court is, is really nice. There's just a lot to offer. Katie says when she bought the house back in July 2018, she had no intentions of leaving her 26 year career at Kellogg. I really liked it there, but this house just has so much to offer. When she saw the house, she fell in love. Now she's hoping guests have the same reaction she did. I think once people come, they will fall in love with it just like I did. In Marshall, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.